Hey everyone, Marty Snyder, Steve Latart, and Brad Darty joining you after Martin Truex big win on Monday at Dover. So, Steve, two tires versus four. Were you thinking where Chastain was starting right behind Ryan Blaney? He might have a shot to be able to pass and get the win. Well, I'll be honest. Um, I, you know me, always have an opinion. And when the caution came out, I thought it was a no-brainer for the 19 and the one to both take four tires. They had a big gap on third, a lot of lap down cars. But with this new next-gen car, which isn't really new anymore, but I'm kind of old school. Four tires can get changed so fast. It's not the advantage you used to have to only taking, uh, uh, you know, two tires. It worked out well. But I won't lie, I was scared for the 19. I thought that the one of Chastain had a very good chance on four tires. But in the end, two tires was the exact right call. Track position was king. And Brad, um, I won't lie, I felt good for my man James Small. <laughs> I think he does a great job. He has fast race cars, but they seem to have tripped up finishing the deal. And, and yeah. my heart sank a little bit before that restart. I thought maybe they were on the wrong side this time again. Yeah, I thought James Small was going to have a bad Tuesday morning after that call. I just, I was really concerned. You know, we saw good, decent tire wear uh, as the day went on. We thought it was going to be like, you know, sandpaper chewing through butter throughout the day. But we saw decent tire wear. But I, I agree with you. I thought four tires were a no-brainer. And on that last restart, I didn't think there was any way in the world uh, that the 19 car was going to be able to keep Ryan Blaney at bay, much less uh, Chastain. But, man, Martin Truex just set sail. And once he got out front and got a little clean air on the front of that race car, man, he was running the fastest laps of the day. So uh, what a great call by these guys. Uh, like I said, I wouldn't have picked that. I would have thought that Chastain would have ran him down, uh, got past him or got into him or done something. But I didn't think the 19 would be standing there holding the checkered flag at the end of the day. Brad, let me ask you about the, the team and themselves. You know, you almost could feel Martin's frustration of 56 races and all the times that, like Steve mentioned, and you mentioned how close that they came. This is a team that that verbally fights during the race. It's replayed on radio all the time. We do it. Our friends at Fox do it. But but and at the end of the day, the team delivered on pit road. James made the right call on pit road. Talk about the resolve, the resolve of this race team to come back and be able to win after as much infighting as they have, they still can get it done. Yeah, I think that's a, a, a significant point. You know, if you know Martin Truex Jr. just a little bit, uh, you know that, that that's deep within him. I mean, he's a quiet guy. He is a nice guy. Everyone in the sport of NASCAR likes Martin Truex Jr. But I go all the way back to the MWR days of listening to him on the radio. And he absolutely, when he's driving that race car, he becomes like a, a gremlin or something. I mean, he just loses his mind because he wants it so bad and he's so competitive. So this is what this race team has embraced about him. When you stop hearing that from Martin Truex, that's when he's done. That's when he's, he's, he's done being a competitor, being a, a top level race car driver. We're still, he we're still hearing that. And what we heard today is someone who's capable. He's capable at a myriad of racetracks. Getting this win today could open up the, the, the windows for this race team and they could set sail and win a bunch of races this season Instead of going, you know, they finished fourth in points, didn't win any races in the past, and wasn't able to get in the championship round, that's over with. I think Martin Truex puts himself in the hunt uh, for a championship again this season just because of the significance of this win today. Brad, I'll go one further with Truex doing it his own way. You're talking about his communication to his team and his fire on the radio. The other thing he hasn't lost through this winless streak is his style. Martin Truex Jr. is one of the cleanest guys out there. Uh, and even as the what I'll call acceptable moves have shifted in NASCAR, the blocking, the, the door banging, the three wide moves, the aggression, Truex has found a way to kind of maintain his own self through this. Listen, when Chastain was closing in on the, on the laps before the final caution, he definitely used the air and moved the, you know, the one around a little bit to make sure he defended. But he's not the guy to move a guy out of the way. He's not the car to hit other cars. And you wondered if the frustration of the losing streak and the aggression on the racetrack would require a different style of racing. But Martin Trex Jr. has held firm even after 630 starts. He has a style. He sticks with that style. And it proves once again that, um, you know, if you stick to yourself, Marty, and you believe in yourself, sometimes it pays off. It paid off in the 19 in a big way today. Steve, eighth different winner so far in 2023. Are we going to start having the discussion of how many different winners we're going to see this year? I, you know, what I see is every year you're going to have the discussion because every year we're going to see 13, 14, 15 winners. So it's That's very good. simple. If you think you're going to the playoffs, you better plan on doing it with the trophy in the trophy case. 
If you see any other path, Brad, you might as well not show up because it looks to me I like agree you with plan you. on winning. I agree with it. You got to go. You got to go loaded for bear every weekend. I mean, think Chase Elliott just came back. I mean, think of all these guys who who are going to win multiple races, not just one race, but multiple races as we go throughout the season. So, yeah, absolutely. I think we're going to see 13, 14, 15 guys win races again this year. Hi, I'm Parker Kligerman. For more access like this from Pit Road, be sure to click and subscribe to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube channel.